Good morning, everybody. My name is Danny Gant, Senior Forecaster here at the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Morristown, Tennessee. I just wanted to talk to you quickly about some severe weather that we're expecting across the Tennessee Valley today. Area-wide, we are expecting uh, a severe weather event. Uh, we could see damaging straight-line winds across pretty much the entire region. However, the highest threat area for destructive winds, so 75 plus, 75 miles per hour plus, that looks to be generally along and west of I-75. And this area as well is also where we think the greatest potential for tornadoes will be. Some of those tornadoes could be strong and long-lived. Uh, so we're expecting two rounds of severe weather today. The first round will be along the warm front as it moves north uh, this afternoon, generally from 4 p.m. to around 11 p.m. And then we'll have a second round of severe weather, and that's going to be as the cold front advances across Middle Tennessee. There's going to be a line of thunderstorms out ahead of that, and those storms will most likely be severe as well. And that looks to move into the area around 9 o'clock. So the timing of the first wave of storms this afternoon looks like the Southern Valley around 4 to 7 Eastern, Central Valley 5 to 9 Eastern, and the Northern Valley in Southwest Virginia 8 to 11 Eastern. As far as timing the second wave of storms uh, associated out ahead of the cold front, we're looking at uh, moving off the plateau around 9 to midnight tonight and then into the valley around 11 to 2 a.m. and then up into the I-81 corridor around 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. So I just wanted to quickly cover some tornado terminology. A tornado watch is generally just when a conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes. When a tornado is spotted or indicated by our weather radar, that is when we would issue a tornado warning and that would be the time that you want to, would want to take action. If we issue a tornado emergency, those are generally for exceedingly rare situations where there's a severe threat to human life and catastrophic damage, usually from a confirmed violent tornado. A little bit of tornado safety. Uh, when we issue a tornado warning, that's not the time to figure out what you should be doing. You should be doing that now. Um, you want to know where to go. Also, don't overlook the straight line wind damage potential. Uh, damaging winds uh, can be a lot more widespread, and this graphic says straight line winds of 100 mile an hour. We're probably not going to see that, but even 70 or 80 mile per hour can do quite a bit of damage over a large area. One other thing that I wanted to quickly cover is with these multiple rounds of showers and thunderstorms through the day to today, we're going to start seeing some uh, ponding of water and maybe even some flash flooding. So we've issued a flash flood watch that is in effect for today and goes through tonight into Friday morning uh, for generally I-40 and south. And here is our rainfall forecast. Okay, well, that's all I have for you. Thank you and stay safe out there today and be sure to check for updates throughout the day. Thank you very much.